Hello everyone, welcome to the Zoho Payroll video series on salary components. In this video, we will look at configuring food coupons and gift coupons through Zoho Payroll. Before going into the configuration, let us take a minute to understand what food coupon is. Food coupons are tokens that businesses give to employees to have a meal while at work. In contrast to a food allowance, no cash is given to the employees in this case. Only vouchers which can be used to pay for meals are given to the employees. Now let us take a look at how to configure the food coupon in Zoho Payroll. Navigate to Settings, Salary Components. Here, click on Add Component and choose the earning type as food coupon. Choose the earning name, name and payslip and the other configurations that are shown on the right side. Once the configurations are done, please click on mark this as active and click save. Please note that when the food coupon component is created, there is also a one-time post-tax deduction that gets created in the name of food coupon deduction. Now let us take a look at the tax ability of food coupon. The Income Tax Department of India recognizes food coupons or meal vouchers as a tax-exempt entity. An example, the amount of coupons your employees avail are not included in their taxable salary. This is the reason behind showing it as an earning and as a deduction too. Typically, when a deduction is added for the same earning, it does not make any difference to the gross salary of the employee as the amount gets nullified. Now that the component is created, let us take a look at how to associate this component to the salary structure of an employee. Open the salary structure of an employee, edit the salary and enter the value as per the applicability in the earning section and click save. Once associated, the same will reflect in the pay runs as an earning and as a deduction. Pro tips, please make sure to choose the earning type as food coupon only. Food allowance is not supposed to be used. Please note that there should be two columns for food coupon while importing. Food coupon earnings and food coupon deduction. This is applicable while importing salary structure and prior payroll. Food coupon in Zoho payroll is not considered as a flexible benefit plan component as it has no tax effect. As we saw the working of food coupon, let us take a look at how gift coupon works in Zoho Payroll. A gift coupon is issued by a retailer to be used as an alternative to cash for purchases within a particular store or businesses. These coupons have an expiry date and work as a discount on purchase. Now, let us take a look at how to configure the gift coupon in Zoho Payroll. Navigate to Settings, Salary Components, here, click on Add Component and choose the Earning Type as Gift Coupon. Choose the Earning Name, Name and Payslip and the other configurations that are shown on the right side. Please note that this is a component that is not included in CTC because this is typically paid out once in a specific month. Once the configurations are done, please click on Mark this as Active and click save. Please note that when the gift coupon component is created, there is also a one-time post-tax deduction that gets created in the name of gift coupon deduction. Let us take a look at the taxability of gift coupon. If market price of the gift coupon received by an employee in any financial year is 5000 rupees or less than 5000 rupees in total then such whole amount of gift will be exempt from taxes so if the amount paid is over and above 5000 rupees the remaining amount is taxable for an example if the gift coupon amount is 6500 rupees the first 5000 rupees is exempted from taxes and the remaining 1500 rupees is taxable the difference amount will have to be added under the perquisites to calculate taxes on that component. Navigate to the salary details page of any employee and scroll down. 
you will have a separate section called Percocytes. Click on the View button and enter the difference amount in the gift, vouchers, etc. And click on Save. Now when the pay run is created, the amount of 5000 rupees is added to the earnings. Alternatively, you can import the same by using the one-time earnings and deductions file. Pro tips, choose the earning type as gift coupon and not as custom allowance. If the gift coupon provided is more than 5000 rupees, please make sure to enter the balance amount in Percocytes. While processing the payran, make sure to import the values as applicable in any payran as per the applicability. With this, we have come to the end of this video. We hope this video was informative to you on learning about food coupon and gift coupon and its working in Zoho Payroll. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to get further updates from us. Thank you.